way, this is again, what you're looking at and you just wonder, I wonder what I could do to get this thing to be simpler. And one thing I noticed about the natural log, I know how to differentiate it. I'll write this over here. U is equal to the natural log of 4x. Let's write down du. It's 1 over its argument. This is the chain rule now. Times root of the inside, which is 4 dx. So I get something pretty simple. du is just 1 over x dx. I do see that in the problem, by the way. So what I want to do is go over here, and I want to see if I can write it down. All right? So I'll put this as um, equal. Again, going from x's to u's. So the first thing I notice, I do see the, um, you know, the 1 over x dx, and that's just a, <coughs> a du. That's all that is. And then I get 1 over the natural log of 4x, and that would just be 1 over u. I got troubles. Do I know that guy's antiderivative? And you should. That guy's antiderivative is going to be the natural log. So let me write this down. So you're going to get the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. All right. Do I know what u is? I do. Natural log, absolute value. And what's u? It's actually the natural log of 4x plus c. Put a box in this. Looks strange. Let's look at the key and see if we got that. And I am seeing that, by the way. Thank you.